Hey guys, how you doing? This is your host with the most, your boy Rich from richtv.io, an ecosystem built by investors for investors. We're here live from Mexico for our last week in Mexico. Next week, we'll be back in Canada. Let's talk about the big breaking news on July 13th. The huge elephant in the room, the CPI numbers. We've been waiting for them. It was like the Super Bowl for investors. The numbers were not good. They jumped to 9.1% in June, the largest annual increase since 1981. So everyone is talking about it on social media. Inflation hits new 40 year high. Stocks experienced a lower open, a lot of selling pressure today. Please research exact numbers, do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, let's take a look at the Dow Jones. We're going to take a look at the exact close for the Dow Jones. All right. So the Dow Jones, as you can see here, at 30,772 and 79 down 208.54 basis points. So red day for the Dow Jones. It was red, then it went green slightly, then it finished in the red to close the 13th. Now, tech shares also followed and tumbled for the most part. And the other big news in the day, Elon Musk first decided to terminate his $44 billion deal to acquire Twitter, and Twitter decides to sue Elon Musk for not acquiring Twitter. This is big news. Twitter sues Elon Musk for bailing on a greed deal. So stay tuned. We'll keep you updated on how that goes. Bank of Canada, more bad news for investors. Bank of Canada increased its interest rates by a full 1%, the biggest increase in a very long time. So huge increase for the Bank of Canada. Now, let's just take a look here as well. Looking forward to July 14th, we want to take a look at July 14th and prepare for tomorrow. So July 14th, events to look for in Canada, manufacturing sales month over month, going to be very important. We'll be watching that very closely. And in the United States of America, UP, uh, the PPI numbers, high impact on the market month over month, we watching for the PPI numbers in America. It's a leading indicator of consumer inflation. When producers charge more for goods and services, the higher costs are usually passed on to the consumer. And thus in this high inflation market, it's very important. We'll be watching it very closely. In the US, unemployment claims, medium impact on the market. We'll be watching that tomorrow. FOMC member Waller speaks. Medium impact on the market expected for that. Now let's take a look at Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin all over the place right now. Let's take a look here. And so you can see Bitcoin right now is trading right at $19,826. So right now we are seeing that every time Bitcoin falls below the 20,000 mark, we believe that that's a pretty decent buy zone. And we feel like there's resistance for Bitcoin right around 22,500. So you can see it's right now sitting at 19,831 as we speak. Might be a good up trade for the longs if it breaks that 20,500 mark, which it has. Might be a distant buy zone. And if it gets back to that 22,500 mark, that's where we see a lot of selling pressure and some resistance. So that might be where you may want to take a sell based on what it's doing right now. If it can't break the 20,500 area, then you could see it trade down to the 17,000K area again. Remember, do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. Now, let's also take a look at Ethereum. All right, ETH USD. So you can see here with Ethereum, and you can see that it's currently trading at $1,083. So if I take a look at support and resistance, you can see here there is support at about that 1200 mark, 1278 is where it typically gets resistance and starts to sell. And you can see there's support right here at that 880 mark. 
So 880 would be where I'd be looking to buy. This is the one month chart. So you can see the lowest has been in the last month is 880. That would be my buy zone currently at 1,083. And the highest it's been in the last month is 1,278. We're kind of right in the middle. So in my opinion, kind of right where it should be. But if I'm looking to buy Ethereum, I'd be looking to buy that 880 mark, maybe that 900 mark. And if I'm looking to sell some Ethereum, maybe a good idea to take some, some, some profits at that 1250 to 1278 mark. Thank you guys for watching. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners, we bring you the news, we bring you the analysis, and we bring it to you first. Thank you for watching Rich TV Live, live in Mexico. Join our ecosystem at richtv.io. How do you guys like our logo? How do you guys like our tank tops? Thank you guys. If you're not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring in the winners, we bring in the news, we bring in the analysis, we bring you CEO interviews and company interviews and overviews, and we bring it to you first. Thank you guys for watching. Your host with the most, your boy Rich from Rich TV Live with daily news. And I'm out. Peace.